Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mandarin Time. Today we are going to continue Chapter Twelve. You wear too little. 大家好，欢迎来到时代中文。今天我们继续学习第十二课。你穿的太少了。首先，我们看第一个词。The first word is. 雨 Do you remember? We have learned it in previous chapter. It means rain. 雨 It rains. We can say 下雨 We use 下 as a verb. 下雨今天下大雨 It rains heavily today. 今天下大雨。The next word is 雪 As you can see, the upper part of 雪 is 雨 So here, 雨 is be used as a radical. 雪 means snow. We can say 下雪。下雨，下雪。Have a big snow, 下大雪 Have light snow, 下小雪非常好。下一个词语是零度。Next one, 零度。零度 means zero degree. 零 is zero. 度 indicate degree. 今天零度，很冷。Today is zero degree. It's very cold. 今天零度，很冷。We use number and do to indicate the temperature degree. And when the temperature is below zero, we use 零下。零 is zero. 下 is Under, below, we use 零下 and number before do to indicate the temperature degree is under zero. For example, 零下六度，零下六度 And I prepare four pictures about temperature. Can you speak it out in Chinese? The first one is three degree under zero. It is 零下三度，零下三度 three degree under zero. The next one is eleven degree under zero. 零下十一度 eleven degree under zero. The third one is fourteen degree under zero. 零下十四度 fourteen degree under zero. The last one is thirteen degree under zero. 零下十三度非常好，大家都对了吗 ？Okay. Next one is 穿 Chuan is to wear. 你喜欢穿什么颜色的衣服？穿衣服 wear clothes. 什么颜色 What color? What color of clothes do you like to wear? 你喜欢穿什么颜色的？衣服非常好。In the dialogue, we have one sentence like this: 你衣服穿的太少了。Usually, we say 穿衣服 but here we put 衣服 before 穿。你衣服穿。
穿的太少了。Because there is the after verb, and if 穿 has an object 衣服 we should put object before verb. So this is our new structure in this episode: object, verb, the, and adjective. So here we can say, 你穿的太少了 You wear too little. But we have 衣服 as the object of 穿 so we put 衣服 before 穿 Let me give you another example. 我学汉语 I learn Chinese. 我学的很好 I learn very well. So if we combine these two sentences into one sentence, I learn Chinese very well. So 学 need to match 汉语 and 的很好 In that case, we put 汉语 before 学 It will be. 我汉语学的很好 I learn Chinese very well. 大家都明白了吗 Okay, the next one is two word, but they have the same pronunciation. The first one is 进进 means to enter. 进房间 to enter a room. 进 The second one is also 进 It's an adjective. It means close or near. 我家离公司很近 My house is close to company. 我家离公司很近 These two words have the same pronunciation, so please pay attention to the character. They write differently, and also their opposite word is different. For the first "jin," is "chu," "jin," enter, "chu," exit, "jin," "chu." For the second "jin," is 远 "jin," close, 远 far. So you can also remember their opposite word to help you to differentiate them. Then let's read the dialogue together. 下雪了，今天真冷。有零下十度吧？是啊，你穿的太少了。我们进房间吧。好吧。OK， one more time。下雪了，今天真冷。有零下十度吧？是啊，你穿的太少了。我们进房间吧，好吧。下雪了，今天真冷。It's snowing. It's really cold today. 有零下十度吧。The temperature may be ten degrees below zero. Am I right? We put 有 at the beginning. And ba at the end. It is a structure to express our hypothesis. 是啊，你穿的太少了。我们进房间吧。Yes, you wear too little. Let's go inside the room. Okay. 好吧。Okay. We use ba to indicate. An advice, and 好吧 means okay. Let's do it. 
Then I prepare two questions. The first one is, 今天几度 How much degree does it have today? 今天几度非常好。今天零下十度。It has ten degree below zero. 今天零下十度。The second one, 他们可能在哪儿 ？Where they might be? 他们可能在哪儿 ？Because they said. Let's go inside the room. So they might be outside. Outside, 外面 So, 他们可能在外面。好了，今天的课就到这里。Thank you for your watching. Bye.